Hey guys, what's up? Another five minute game. I wanted to get white, I kind of want to try out the English again, just for old times sake. What is this move? Alright, I'll go c5. If he's going to play a move like knight d2, we're going to play a little more aggressively like c5. Um, I'm going to take on d4 soon, I think. I'll do this first. The question, he has some flexibility here of whether to go, okay, whether to go c4 or c3, but he's going to go c4. Well, I'll take this. I'll go knight, I'll castle, and then i got to figure out where to put my knight. I don't want to go d5, alright, I'm going to play d6. I don't want to go d5 because it blocks the bishop. Do I put my knight on c6 or d7? I'll play the kind of stodgier way. I'm just going to set up like a hedgehog, like ace. Uh, you know what, let's start with rookie 8. And maybe like some kind of bishop f8 type thing. Um, I kind of am worried that he'll go b5 and it will be annoying. So I'm going to start with this move. I guess I'll go bishop f8. It's kind of like a nice type of move to play. I mean, this position is just like a hedgehog type position. It's hard for white to do anything. So white's plans are hard to come up with. A4, A5 looks natural. Looks very obvious plan. So if he does that, okay, he's going to start, he's starting with it. I can play A5 myself. It's probably what I'll do. And if he takes, I'll take with the rook. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I don't want to deal with him playing A5. Take with the rook. I could have taken with the pawn, actually. Maybe it was stronger. I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm playing this to keep an option to double on the A file. So next few moves, queen c7, and then like rook a8. And, I don't know, it seems solid enough. I mean, my b-pawn looks weak, but if he cannot attack it with a minor piece, then it's, st it's sturdily defended by my knight on d7. So, for the most part, things seem okay. Bishop c6 could be irritating. You know what? I'm going to do it just to put the pressure on. I, I don't know what, what kind of luft move I want to play at g6 or h6. It's hard to say. g6, I can go bishop g7. That's probably what I want to do. Yeah. The bishop's better on g7 than f8, in my opinion. It's like a, it looks a little funny, because like maybe d5 could be good someday, but I think it's the right move. This was a little risky that I made that move so fast, but if he goes d5, I can just take, take, and then take with the bishop, and, and there's no problem there. He's tied down to the defense of this a-pawn is the problem, so it's like his whole operation that he went for, his pawn is actually weaker than mine, I think. So, now what? I can take on f3. If he takes with the knight, I take on c4. If he takes with a pawn, his pawns suck. Alright, I'm going to do that. Uh, I mean, I think if he takes with the knight, the, I, I do win a clear pawn, and I have the d5 square for my pieces. If he takes with the pawn, I go knight h5, and I'm starting to come in on his king side. Just doesn't look very good for him. He doesn't know what to do. He missed it, obviously. It's, it's an easy move to miss, because you don't expect somebody to just randomly give away bishop for your knight. My strong bishop, it was attacking a4. It's just like you don't even consider the move in a blitz game. And then when it happens, you're like, oops. And he just had to decide what was the the best of two bad choices, pretty much. And now his king is very weak. Very, very weak. I think... God, I mean, d5 even looks strong here. Let me think, let me think. Um, I have a lot of time. d5, pawn takes. Knight f4. Uh, I think I'm just going to move the rook. 
like a normal person. Where will I move it to? This looks good because it, it gives me some options on the C file. Hmm, it's starting to get annoying. Is queen d8 a good move? Let's say queen d8, pawn takes pawn, queen g5, king somewhere, knight f4. I'm not even threatening mate is the problem. Oh, but I have this issue. If pawn takes, bishop takes, I actually can't move my queen. I mean, I can go to b8. That's not what I... I was hoping for more. Maybe rook a6 doesn't feel right. Jeez, I should have done something else. What about b5 here? If queen takes, I have a good feeling. Eh, what the hell? Just go with my gut. <laughs> um, this was a risky decision, definitely. If queen takes, though, he's up a pawn, but whatever. And if this move, d5, I guess, and just kind of bring my pieces in. Maybe queen, sorry, queen d8 first. This was probably horrible, because I, I just realized, like, my rook is not having many squares to go to. Mm, okay, knight f4, pawn takes rook, queen g5, king f1, queen g2, king e1. Do I have a move somewhere? I don't see it. I'm going to go here. I had a reason for that. I don't... Oh, because knight d3 wins his queen now, in, in some variation. So queen g5, I'm just going to play it, because why not? And I'm going to hope to find some trick. I played this game pretty bad. But my idea is, knight f4... Bishop takes rook, queen g... Oh, he can take that rook. Holy crap, I'm the worst player ever. Alright. Um, check. Check. Ugh. Let's think. Let's think. Wow, I can't believe I'm going to lose this game. I mean, <laughs> this was not the game I expected to lose. Well, I mean, honestly, there's a good chance I tricked this guy anyway, because somehow I'm good at that, but this was really bad. Like, like that move I thought was bad for some reason. I can't remember why. Oh, I thought I could take his pawn in F3, but that's against the chess rules, so I won't do that. This one, let's at least attack the H pawn. <sighs> Alright, now which thing to take? I can't... I guess I'll take this, why not? Let's check, right? Um, I guess knight f4? Threatening knight d3 at least. Uh, if bishop d2, queen h1 is made. So that's something to look forward to. If bishop b4, uh, I was going to go queen, uh, bishop h6, I think. I'm getting some, you know, trick chances here. That's all I need. Just a few chances at some tricks, and I'm happy. Look, he's spending some time. I guess this move, right? Oh, no, wait, knight f6. Uh, let's do that then. Oh, wait, uh... How about that? I don't know why, but <laughs> feels interesting. Mm, okay, let's block that. What's my idea? Queen f3. I'm gonna I'm gonna win this game. It's getting too confusing for my opponent. I think queen g2 if knight g5. I guess I'll take this. Ah, do that, whatever. Confuse this guy some more. Uh, check. I guess I'm running out of checks, though. This is his problem. Oh, but he has nine seconds left, so... So I will win on time.
Oops, that move doesn't really do anything, but I went on time. All right, brilliant game. <laughs> so what exactly happened there? It's nice to win a stupid game sometimes. So first of all, I was completely crushing him, and I got really, really careless. Like right here, rook c8 was a mistake. I had to go probably d5. Let's see what the computer says about this analysis. This is rook, rook b8 also. Well, I could take this. Queen, what? Wow. I wonder if there's another move. That's funny, man. Queen to c5. Winning! Duh. No, I'm kidding. That's a very, very hard move to see. Queen d8 was my other idea. I just didn't know. The move I played was horrible. Oh, I could just take it. Hmm. But yeah, what I did was, like, really crazy. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to give him these two pawns. Like, is that something that you are supposed to give to your opponent? Nah. Not good, not good. But, you know, I had some a few vague tricks up my sleeve. I mean, look at this, though. This is really, really disgusting. Queen f5. I know as long as I can create some threats, it's going to be tough for him. D5. I mean, this is just for confusion value. Now I'm attacking this bishop. I'm attacking this. I'm attacking this. I fear he isn't. He's going to spend a lot of time. Uh, my other option was this, but I felt like it might convince him to run his king over to safety. I wanted to keep his king in the middle. I figure if I make a move like this, he's not going to just hide. He'll do something. You know, spend some time figuring out what to do. It's some blitz psychology. Did I go queen g2? No, I took the knight at this point. And now queen g2, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm basically losing, but I have a lot of checks at this point. He has no time left, so. It's funny, you can only go rook b3 yeah, to get out of these checks. That can't be right. Hold on, really? No, he, he can go uh, bishop c1. But okay, at least he's not threatening to take my rook, so I can make some more annoying annoying threats, like knight c5 or something. I'm trying to, like, I don't even know what I'm trying to do, but I can take this or something. Yeah, but, you know, I totally botched this game. I had an amazing position, and then they just had to use some psychological blitz tricks to win the game. Sorry, I know it wasn't pretty, but I'll take the win. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.